all right good to have you back on the deal and on the dow and right now we'll be talking about books and reading culture in nigeria and you know oscar wilde said it is what you read what you don't have to that determines what you will be when you can't help it because students are supposed to read you know to keep abreast on what is happening around them what are, but what is happening you know to our reading culture in nigeria i have some group of persons join us in the studio who are very passionate about empowering young people especially when we talk about reading please help us welcome the executive director and founder the children youth and women empowerment initiative mrs tokumbo ifaturuti thank you so much for joining us thank you very much for having me and it's a pleasure and also joining her is the beautiful stephanie oreo lua she's the assistant to the executive to the madame <laughs> we're thank pleased to have you here thank you so much for having us thank you thank you now let me start with you mrs ifaturuti when we talk about reading culture in Nigeria, you know, it just beats my imagination when I see young people not understanding the benefits of it all. You know, what would you tell us about the benefits of reading? Well, the benefits of reading actually stem from individuals themselves. And we have a mantra at uh, the Children, Youth and Women Empowerment Initiative, and it's ASK. ASK and it goes always seek knowledge mm. and we strongly believe that knowledge is the foundation of development yes. um, the lack of reading culture actually also stems from poverty and poverty doesn't just relate to money alone it relates to you know a deficiency also in the mind in your thought process where you are where you want to be how far you're projecting and so that gave birth to you know the theme and um, bring back our reading culture in Nigeria it's 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 quite um, an impressive should I say program that we embarked upon because we are the first non-governmental organization in Nigeria to go to over 12 schools in Nigeria within um, two weeks to mm. deliver books to them and um, what we saw when we got to these schools just made it very obvious to us that we were on the right track. Reading stems from a, a host of things. Some children want to read, but they don't have the books. Hmm. Um, teachers want to teach about the reading culture, but the library is deficient. In fact, and Stephanie will attest to the fact that some schools didn't even have libraries. Um, some schools had libraries, but like I said earlier on, didn't have the books. And so there was a need for us to find a middle ground and see how we could marry that together and ensure that our vision to empower every child in Nigeria, to enable them to have sustained livelihoods, could be achieved from a young age. Mm. We went to primary schools, okay. um, we went to secondary schools as well. And um, stories were a bit different. But the common thread was, we want to read, we don't have the books, help us. So the availability and affordability of the book is a challenge. So you address that for us. But I want to hear from you, Stephanie. You're a very young person and you're part of this initiative. And I want to believe you're enjoying it, right? Yes, please. So how has reading changed your life? 